वेलकम आई डर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई स्टार्ट द न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज फैक्टराइजेशन सो टूडे क्लास इट इज द रिवीजन क्लास ऑफ यू सो आई विल स्टार्ट द न्यू चैप्टर इट इज द फैक्टराइजेशन सो व्हाट इज फैक्टराइजेशन सो आई विल लर्न द इन द क्लास आई विल ऑलरेडी लर्न फैक्टराइजेशन सो नाउ आई विल स्टार्ट द सम basic introduction of the factors so i'll do now what are the factors suppose i will take a natural numbers what are the natural numbers 1 2 3 4 so on these are all the natural numbers already know so it is denoted by the capital letter n so n is the natural number so what are the natural numbers here One, two, three, so on. These are all the natural numbers. So suppose I will take one natural number is thirty. Okay. So I will take one natural number is thirty. So in this thirty, what are the factors that are coming? So I will write the factors. What are the factors? Fifteen to the. It is thirty, right? So I will write fifteen. Two za, it is thirty. So similarly, one thirty za, it is also thirty. So one into thirty, it is also thirty. Next, next what are coming? Think about it. So next, ten three za, it is also thirty, right? Ten three za is thirty. Next one. Six five is it is also thirty. Six five is also thirty. Therefore, so what are the factors of the thirty number? So what are coming? So two is there and three is there. Next five and ten, fifteen. Next and thirty. These are a uh, these are all. These are all are factors of factors of thirty. So, what are the factors are here? So, one, two, three, five, ten, fifteen, and thirty. These are all factors of number thirty. So, next one. So, oh, if these have the correct as these are all factors. Okay. So, next. What are prime numbers? I already know. So, what is prime number? Prime number is. So, suppose I will take an example. Example two. Two is a prime number, right? How it is prime number? Because two is divisible. It only the two is divisible. It only itself. It means I will take two ones. Is two. So next we have to not. Uh, divide in any number, so it is not coming in any different product. So it is only multiplied with one. There types of numbers we have to call it as it is a prime number. So two one zero is two. So two is a prime number. So similarly, I have taken the prime factors of the number thirty. Okay. So thirty. What are the prime factors? So see here, two, two into three, two three is how much? Two three is is six. Okay, six five is six five is thirty. Therefore, two is a prime number, three is a prime number, and five is a prime number. So the cofactors of so prime factors of thirty is two. Three and five. These are prime factors of number thirty. Okay, so students, these are all the factors of thirty number. Okay, next move to the factorization of algebraic expression. Okay, next factorization of algebraic expression. Factorization. 
prime factor so it is an example of algebraic expression okay so next what is so next go to the factorization so it is a unary algebraic expression so how to find why how to finding the how to finding the factors okay next go to the what is factorization so factorization means it is the it is a step of finding the factors with algebraic expressions also so it is the finding the factors and it is algebraic expression and the, this algebraic expression it is including numbers and algebraic expression suppose i have taken an example 3 x y so in this example Here, carefully, 
What is there? First we have to see first two terms. 2xy plus 2y. So it is similar is there. So 2y is 2xy plus 2y. So I am arranging the this is a one group. Okay. So second group I will make a second group is 3x plus 3. It is a second group. So I will rewrite this, this one. In bracket 2xy plus 2y. It is a I will make it. It is a one group. Okay. So plus plus. So remaining is 3x plus 3. So I will write 3x plus 3. It is a another group. So I will make it regroup. Okay. So next we have to solve the using the common factors. Okay. Next come to the using common factors. So see here students. In this first bracket, what are the common numbers are there? Number algebraic expression are there. See here, so two x two x y plus two y. So common what are there? Two is common, and also y is also common. Therefore, I will take the common number is two y. So two y. Okay. So in bracket. So two y will be common. I will take the common. So remaining is only x. So I will write x plus. Ha, huh, see here two y is there. So I will take the two y is common. So remaining what is given? Remaining is only the number is one. Okay. So next I will write the first plus sign plus sign. Ha. Huh. So next group. Have to see here three x plus three is there. So you have to take the common is the number three. So I will take the number common number is three. So what is in bracket right? So x is remaining plus one is remaining. Okay. So next one see this one second step. So in this one x plus one is common right? Similarly in this one x plus one is there. X plus one is there, so you have to take the common x plus one. So x plus one, I will take the both common. So in bracket, remaining values first one is two y, so I will write two y. Okay, so in this plus sign is there, so I will write plus. Okay, in in this one it is three. It is three. Therefore, it is the using the factorization by regrouping terms. Okay, so I will regroup first. We have to write in the regrouping in this terms. Next, we have to write the taken the common factor. So it is also it is also coming the uh, numbers two y in bracket x plus one. Plus three into bracket x plus one. So in this uh, arranging, I will rearrange in this term. So what is there? So x plus one is common. So similarly, x plus one is also common. So therefore, I will take in common x plus one. Okay. So x plus one I will take in common. Remaining is two y plus three. Is it given? So I will take in a group. Okay. So in this example. X plus one and two y plus three are the factors of two x y plus two y plus three x plus. Next, come to the third method. It is the factorization using identities. So in your in your class, you have to there are three identities are there. So first one. A plus B whole square is equal to A square plus two AB plus B square. So next one, second identity is A minus B whole square is equal to A square minus two AB plus B square. Okay. Next one, A square minus B square is equal to A plus B. Next a minus b. Okay, so a square minus b square is equal to a plus b one bracket a minus b one bracket. So next we have to use the these three identities to solve the sum in exam.
examples. Okay. So first part we take an example is x square plus 8x plus 16. So you have to use in the in these three identities. So you have to find me which identity it is using. So first you have to find in the which one identity is using. So see here. So it is in the same of the form of first one. First identity is a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So using this first identity, so here I will take it, it is x square is there. So I have to take a is, a is x. Okay. So a is x. So applying only this question. This example. So second one. 2ab. So 2ab. So have to write in the form of middle one. Have to write in the form of 2ab. Okay. Plus b square. So b square means in the value is 16. So you have to convert it in b square form. So have to write it as. So b is equal to. 16 is there. So how to write? So I have to take 4 square. So 4 square. I have to take B is 4. Why I have to take B is 4? The formula is A square plus 2AB plus B square is there. So I will take A is X. Right? So I will take A is X means A square because it is an X square. Similarly, see last one, b square is there. So, how to rewrite it is there? It is the 16 is there. So, you have to write b square. It is in the form form. So, 4 square it is equal to 16, right? How that? So, how to write 4 square is equal to 16. So, I will take the a is equal to x and b is equal to 4. Okay? So, it is the, so it is the a and b value is come. So next we have to use in the first identity. Okay. So I will write this one. First one is A plus B whole square is A square. A square means I will take an A is equal to X. It means X square. X square. Plus. Okay. Plus is then 2AB. Okay. 2. So I will write 2. Okay. In 2. Into A means I will take a X. So A means I will take a X. Next 2 A B. So 2 A B. So B means I will take the number 4. Okay. B is 4. Plus. Plus. Here B square is there. So I will take a B is number 4. 4 means I will give it this one. It is 4 square. Okay, so let's simplify this one. So it is, I will write it as x square, x square plus 2 into x into 4 plus 4 square. So it is this in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square. So applying the first identity, then the answer will be coming. What answer? So answer is a plus b whole square. What? A plus b whole square. Formula is right. So a means, I will write, a means a plus b is, b is 4. So the answer is a plus b whole square. So I will take an x plus 4 whole square. Right? So it is the factors of x square plus a x plus 16. Okay. So it is x square plus a x plus 16 is equal to x plus 4. 4 square is the answer. Okay. Using this first identity is x a plus b 4 square is equal to a square plus 2 a b plus b square. Okay. Understood this one? So let's go to the second identity. Using the second identity, so I will write the second example is 4y square minus 12y plus 9. So how to write it using the second identity? Second identity means a minus b whole square plus a square minus 2ab plus b square. Right? So a square minus 2ab plus b square. So up 
apply in the second example how to write this one so i will take the a square means i will take the a means in here four y square is there so how to write the a square form so first i will take four y square i will rewritten is four means we have to rewrite four means we have to rewrite right two square right two square so here two square y square is there so have to square i will take and rewriting me it is two y four square so it means the value a is i will take the two y okay so a means is equal to two y so next one next a is coming so next you have to find the b value so b value is a square minus 2ab plus b square so applying the in this here the b square b square my b square value is 9 so how to write this one 9 9 means it is the value is 3 square 3 square is value is 9 so i have to rewrite this one so i have to take that b is equal to 3 okay so you have to learn no a equal to 2 1 next b equal to 3 next using the second identity so using the is minus b whole square formula it is a square minus 2ab plus b square so using this formula so what is coming ha huh. 4y square so it means i will take it a square a square means i will take it a is 2y so i will write a square means 2y whole square okay 2y whole square minus minus 2 into a b see here second identity is a square minus sign is x so i will write minus so next one 2 ab so 2 2 into a is 2y right so i will write a is 2y into b means 3 b means 3 so 2 ab right plus plus b b is 3 so 3 square plus 3 square okay next so see here it is in the form of second identity is so a square means 2y whole square minus 2 into a means 2y and b means 3 plus b square is 3 square so it is in the form of using the second identity then the answer is a minus b whole square it means it is the answer is a is 2y 2y minus b is 3 so 2y minus b whole square is means a minus b whole square so in the factor is the answer is 2y minus 3 whole square okay so therefore 4y square minus 12y plus 9 is equal to 2y minus 3 whole square is the answer okay it is using the second identity is a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square okay understood so next Minus two b 
whole square minus 3 cube whole square. Huh. See here, so I will rewrite this one. First one is uh, a square is, I will take an a is 2p and b is 3 cube. So a square is, I will write 2p whole square minus 3 cube whole square. So you have to write it in, in this method. a plus k 1 bracket and a minus b 1 bracket. So using the third identity, so it is replicated. So it is equal to 2. Okay, is equal to a plus b means I will write a is 2p and b is 3q. So a plus b means a 2p minus plus 3q. 1 Next, 2p minus 3q. 2p minus 3q. It is the answer of 2p square minus. It is answer of 4p square minus 9q square. So, Therefore, 4 p square minus 9 q square is the factor of is equal to 2 p plus 3 q in bracket 2 p minus 3 q is the answer.